All right, Carlene, we are feeling the heat already on this Friday as we head on into the weekend. And hopefully <laughs> everyone is prepared for it, and that means checking on your loved ones, knowing where cool zones are, the whole bit, because this is dangerous heat. Yes. This really is, especially when you're talking about temperatures that are above average and triple digit heat for the inland valleys. Everything just coming at us with this heat, Barbara Lee. And so for our forecast, we peaked today. Today was the hottest day of this heat wave. But still for tomorrow. You're still talking about temperatures being above seasonal, still being hot. As I mentioned at the top of this newscast, we can't let our guard down even though we will have that heat advisory expire tomorrow night. Highs for today, 104 for Valley Center, triple digit heat for Ramona as well as Campo, El Cajon at 100, 119 so far today for Borrego Springs and even warming up closer towards the coast, 81 degrees for Chula Vista, 80 degrees for Oceanside. We hit records today and and that was for Ramona, El Cajon, and Campo. Triple digit heat broke a record for Ramona, tied the record for El Cajon as well as for Campo. So we're definitely feeling it out there. It's gonna take us into the weekend. We're not cooling down until next week. Over uh, the harbor, looking pretty good as we go into tonight. We do have some clouds starting to move in. 75 degrees currently for downtown. Also winds out of the west, northwest at 13 miles per hour. It is dangerous, and as Barbara Lee mentioned, this is when you have to check on your loved ones. Make sure you know where cool zones are. Also, making sure that you're protecting yourself. So when we talk about heat-related illnesses, I emphasized this yesterday, and I still want to stress it. Heat exhaustion, the signs of that, excessive sweating, you have a rapid, weak pulse, also muscle cramping. At that point, make sure you're finding a cool place to be, drinking plenty of water and also taking a cool shower. When it gets to a very dangerous uh, situation, especially when you have to call 911, is a heat stroke. And so checking on your loved ones is a good idea. Someone may lose consciousness, nausea or vomiting, a throbbing headache, and we're talking about a very hot body temperature, about 103 or more. So just know the signs when we are talking about heat related illnesses and protecting yourself out there. High pressure will continue to dominate our forecast over the next couple of days. That's why we're still holding on to the heat with those alerts in play until tomorrow night. It's not until we get into next week we start to have a change up in our forecast. That area of low pressure you're seeing over the northern Pacific that will actually bring us below seasonal and that will be by Thursday. Low 70s returning to the coast inland valleys in the low 80s by Thursday. 80s returning to the mountains and taking a break from these dangerously hot temperatures for the desert to 103 and that will be on Thursday.